everyone. My name is Mandy van der Westeisen and I'm a life coach. What I would like to speak to you about today is putting a plan of action into place to implement positive and sustainable change in your life. The way I like to explain the structure for change is by means of an analogy. And this analogy is a map. Now, the first thing we need to do before we make use of the map is to draw the map. And this we will have to do through exploration or excavation, if you will. And this is a journey or a process of understanding yourself. A lot of the time we need to make use of tools for self-discovery, understanding values, understanding what our position of life balance is, or even understanding what bad habits we would like to change. But it's important, ultimately, to draw a map of who we are as people. What things we love, what things we don't love so much. Where our potentials lie, and where our gifts lie. Once we have this map of ourselves in place, we can use it. The next step in implementing change is deciding on the change. Now, a lot of the time we would need tools to help us decide on the change and to help focus our attention in the correct manner. We need to make change in the right place at the right time. And we need to set goals at the right time and in the right way. Goal setting is just like deciding on a holiday destination. Once we know where we're going, the next step is to plan our route. This we call strategizing. Now strategies are loose, broad groups of actions. And just like a route map would allow us to plot our journey one destination or sub-destination at a time. Pretty much a series of steps that would allow us to bridge the gap or travel the road between where we are now and where we would like to be. Strategies are very, very important and, as with all things, would need to be personal to your specific goal. Once we have the route map in place, nothing really remains but for us to put petrol in the car and get going on our journey. And this is pretty much getting into action. Getting into action is like embarking on the journey and doing whatever it is we need to do to move forward and to get the job done. As with all journeys, planning only takes us so far. And a lot of the time we encounter detours or hit a pothole or pick up a hitchhiker that we did not expect to do. And in this respect, we need to provide strategies for support along our journey so that we don't give up halfway there. This is another aspect that we will need to look at and that we'll discuss briefly. So now that we understand what we're going to be doing, let's get going and do it. Let's talk about setting a goal. Now a goal can be around anything. And remember, this goal needs to be personal to you. So you need to have the word I or me or mine in there. And remember, we can only set a goal around change for ourselves. We can't set goals around changing the behavior of our wives or our husbands or our children. We can only change that which we have total power over and that is aspects of our own self. So whatever your goal is and in whatever aspect of life it is, it needs to be relevant and it needs to be meaningful for you. And a goal can be around absolutely anything. It can be around emotional issues, it can be around